Hello guys, welcome once again. In the last video, I have shown you how to create a local database using your Visual Studio. And I have also shown you how to connect your local database with your C Sharp Windows form application. Until now, we have this form and we have table and we have text field to add it. In this video, I will show you how to write a code to save, add it and remove your data from the database. So you can say that th this is the same functionality which you can do it from here. But if you go to the code here, it hasn't generated much code for uh, editing or, or removing the database. Okay, so I will show you what code you need to write in order to remove or add new data or edit the data. So let's get started. I will take three buttons here. One, two, and three. And uh, I will change the text of these button. First is add new. Second is save, for example. And third is remove. Okay, now we will write the code for this button click event. But if you have noticed last time when we have dragged and dropped this data grid view from our data source and we have drag and drop this data, default data here, it has generated some code here also. So it has generated employee data set one, employee info binding source, employee info table adopter, in table adopter manager, and employee info binding navigator. So in your code also you will be able to see these things according to the name of the database and according to the name of your table. So just remember this, we are going to use this in our code. Now just select your add new button and double click it. And here we will write this dot binding not binding but employee info binding so employee info binding source dot add new okay this should be dot add new so this will add a new data to your uh, database and second we will write the code for saving or editing the saved data saving the edited data I, i'm sorry so here we will write this dot validate and in the next line we will write this dot binding source which is employee info binding source so i will write employee info binding source dot and edit okay and once you have edited your data you need to update it into the table also right so write this dot table adopter manager dot update all and in the bracket we will pass the data set so we will write this dot employee data set one okay so this is for uh, saving the edited data now the code for removing the data just select your remove button and double click it and here we write this dot employee info binding source once again dot remove current okay to remove the current data so this is the code for adding and editing the save ad, saving the edited data and the remo removing your data so let's try and run the program and till now we have two employees let's add one more employee 
don't forget to select this row last row otherwise if you select this it will add it your data in this row so I select this row last and I will add a new data okay so I will say first of all add new and here I will say this is employee ID 3 name is Patrick so name is something and age is 40 and is he married yes and I will say add new and if you see he has added a new item but he has added the last data which I have selected so this time if we, when you want to add a new data just click here add new and then add your new data some name surname and age this time he is not married and I will say save and now this time he has added into the new row right some more employee employee 5 some name some surname and age and he is married and say add new okay now for example I want to add it the data of this employee so I will select this one and I will say this name should be something else this should be some new name and some new surname and age is also different and I will say and this time let's click he is married and I will save the data and now data is added here you can see here and if you want to remove some data just select this cell for uh, removing the data and say remove and your data is removed from here okay so you have added you have written the code for adding new data and saving the edited data and removing your data so i hope you, you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now